Um, example one is going to involve finding the values of the six trigonometric functions. And the ones you've already been introduced to in algebra two were the sine, cosine, and tangent. And we use SOCATO to remember that. So hopefully that's something that I drove home enough last year that you um, still have that knowledge. But it just tells you the relationship between the angle with the trig function to the opposite adjacent hypotenuse sides. And if we're dealing with a right triangle, we're always looking at one of the acute angles. So if I'm looking at this acute angle over here, let's call it alpha, I want to identify this being the right angle. For this acute angle, the opposite side is going across the triangle. The adjacent side is the one next to the angle that is not the hypotenuse. So this is the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. So you can use the word opposite to describe two of these sides. Go across the triangle to find the opposite. Go across the triangle from the right angle to get the hypotenuse. But the other side is the adjacent. And the three ratios we got before were opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, opposite over adjacent. Those were three of the six ways to arrange these things. The other three are the reciprocals of each of these. The reciprocal sign is cosecant. The reciprocal cosine is secant, and the reciprocal tangent is cotangent. And I don't know why they did a co with the, the, being the reciprocal sine and not a co being the reciprocal cosine. I don't know why they didn't just swap those, but that's what they are. So that's what your calculator would know. In fact, your calculator doesn't have these buttons on it. But um, if you know that they're the reciprocal functions, then you have the ability to um, reciprocate, right? So if the sine is 2 thirds, the cosecant is 3 halves. If the cosine is negative 1 half, the secant is negative 2. The tangent is 17 35ths, this be 35 seventeenths. So it's just reciprocating. So in general, on the problems where it says find the value of all six trigonometric functions, if you do what you already know how to do, then simply reciprocate the answers to get these. That's what we're looking for. So example one, find the value of the six trigonometric functions of theta in the figure. That should say functions, but I don't know why I don't have it written there. Pretend functions is written there. So six trig functions. All right. So first off, what's missing? The old thing. Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. The, the theta. Obviously, we don't know what theta is. We could actually find theta uh, using some trigonometry. But what's missing? If we need to find the value of the six trig functions, we have to know the three sides: mm -hmm. the opposite, of the adjacent, the hypotenuse. The opposite and the adjacent are known, but the hypotenuse isn't. So the right. Uh, it's a right triangle. So if I do r squared is equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared. So r squared is equal to 25. So therefore, r would equal the square root of 25, which is 5. Right. So we're dealing with the right triangle. We want to find the length of each side. There are all three sides. Once I know the length of all three sides, now it's simply a fact of identifying these sides as either the opposite, the adjacent the hypotenuse. Uh, let's go with Liz. Which side is opposite theta? Say it with more confidence? Three. Perfect. Opposite is three. Here's my angle, my acute angle. I want to work with theta. I go across the triangle to find the opposite. We're good. Alex, which is the hypotenuse? Uh, five. Five. Very good. So therefore, if those two sides have been identified, the only side left is the adjacent, which would be this one. Okay, so we identify those three sides. And then what I want to do is I want to write sine of theta equals cosine of theta equals tangent of theta equals. Theta is an easy Greek letter to write. You make a zero, put a little belt on it. You can even connect the belt to the other side if you want to. Kind of looks to me like a pill. A little pill has like a little space there where you're supposed to cut it if you want half a pill. Make sure you write it just like that. Sine of theta equals cosine theta equals tangent theta equals. And just do what you already know how to do with those. If we do SOHCAHTOA, we're making fractions, right? S-O-H, O-H, 3 over 5. C-A-H, A over H, 4 over 5. TOA, O over A, 3 over 4. Then, I want to write next to that, over here, Cosecant of theta equals secant of theta equals cotangent of theta 
equals. And I want you to get comfortable with that order because we're used to this order for sine, cosine, tangent. If you get used to this order for cosecant, secant, cotangent, then that helps your brain relate sine to cosecant being reciprocal functions, cosine to secant, tangent to cotangent. These are reciprocal functions, so I simply reciprocate these answers. Three-fifths reciprocates to five-thirds, four-fifths, five-fourths, three-fourths, four-thirds. And there's my answers. Now, before I move on to the next problem, let me just show you what's going to happen in some of these problems. Uh, that's, it's not going to make it impossible to do, but just for nice, uh, really good finished answers. Suppose we have this right triangle here, let's go like that, and let's just say this is uh, 12, and let's say this is, uh, let's go with 4. Right, so this over here would be the square root of, let's see, 4 squared 16, 12 squared 144, uh, that'd be 160, right? Which, square root of 160, that's going to be uh, 4 times the square root of 10. We all buy that, right? 4 square root of 10. All right, suppose that's what we have. And which one do we want to be theta? This is the right angle, it can't be theta, but which one? You want the top one or the bottom one? I don't care. Uh, top. Okay. Let's call that theta. All right. So we just went to all the trouble of what we did on the first, on the last example, right? We identified all three sides, and we've got our angle identified that we're going to be working with. I want to identify the opposite adjacent hypotenuse. So listen, which one's opposite? Twelve. Perfect. Tyler, which one's hypotenuse? Four and square. Very good. And then of course the adjacent side would be the other side. All right. So again, I'm going all through all the process I did before. I got Sokotoa going on here first. So sine of theta equals something, cosine of theta equals something, tangent of theta equals something, and then we have cosecant of theta equals something, secant of theta equals something, and cotangent of theta equals something. All right. So again, there's my six trig functions. I want to identify each of these things. Sokotoa O H. 12 over 4 square root of 10. First off, you notice 12 and 4 reduce, right? Mm -hmm. So that's 3 over the square root of 10. Is that a good way to leave a final answer? No. no. Square root's in the bottom, no. Multiply top and bottom by the square root of 10, I'm going to end up with 3 times the square root of 10 over 10. All right? So I want to get answers looking like this for final answers. All right? But I want to show my work in the process because to make cosecant, so right here's my correct answer for sine, right? Mm -hmm. I could reciprocate that to get cosecant, right? I can also reciprocate this. If I reciprocate that, I get the square root of 10 over 3 and it's already done. You see that? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and go through the process. Reduce fraction if possible. If there's a square root on the bottom, fix it. But don't reciprocate this. Reciprocate that because that already gets your whole number on the bottom. All right? And then look at cosine, same deal. Adjacent over hypotenuse, that's 4 over 4 squared of 10. 4 is canceled, that's 1 over the square root of 10. Multiply top and bottom by square root of 10, we get square root of 10 over 10. And that's just going to be that. And then this, reciprocate, square root of 10 is the secant over 1. You don't have to write the over 1. All right, tangent is opposite over adjacent, 12 fourths, better known as 3. Cotangent, that is 1 third, reciprocal of 3. All right? That's all you have to do. So again, this you've done before. These are just reciprocals of those. But again, when square roots are involved, I want them fixed. But when you reciprocate, don't reciprocate that. If I did, watch, I get 10 over 3 squared of 10. Multiply top and bottom by the square root of 10. I'm going to get 10 times the square root of 10 over 3 times 10. The 10s cancel, and it's the same thing. Heck of a lot more work. All right, so just keep that in mind. If square roots do show up, which they will sometimes, that's how you handle them. And uh, again, if you get your work shown, sometimes reducing happens, sometimes it doesn't. You at least get to this point every single time. Fix it, reciprocate that, not this to get the reciprocal.